Hey everybody, uh, today I am super stoked. Uh, thrice, a lot of people who know me know is my absolute favorite band. Uh, I've been listening to these guys, you know, since the Illusion of Safety days, uh, and I've loved everything they've put out. I've followed them on their music journey from, you know, being that fast and chaotic sort of skate, skate punky type metal band, uh, whatever you want to call them, hardcore band, whatever, um, you know, to being more experimental and branching out on uh, Visu, and then, you know, Beggars, Major Minor, um, all those albums, you know, Alchemy Index, this band is a journey. Um, and, you know, Thrice fans are some of the most passionate fans you'll ever meet. Um, and I absolutely love this band. So I've been eagerly awaiting for a new album and follow up to Palms um, for a long time now. Obviously, the pandemic threw a spanner in the works there. And, you know, some, some people kind of, you know, had their lives turned upside down and bands couldn't tour. So it's understandable that it took a little longer to get a follow up to Palms. But um, we're here now. We've got a new single, Scavengers. Um, we've got a new 10 track um two-sided album called horizons east um hopefully that means we get a horizons west um at some point but we know the band were kind of asking for concept ideas and whatnot uh, a little while ago or dustin was on twitter um and people gave some good ideas so i don't know if this is a concept album but um all i know is we've got new thrice music and i am ecstatic so let's just get into it oh Oh, we're getting some beggars vibes on this one. Oh my goodness. Oh, this sounds so good. I'm getting huge beggars vibes of this album. Oh, track, sorry, should I say. Froggy, this is super froggy. Before we continue, um, I don't know who mixed this, but whoever mixed this, oh my goodness! So the band built their own studio and recorded this themselves again, like they did. Um, some of the earlier material like alchemy index and whatnot and if you know thrice you know uh when they record stuff themselves with Teppy at the helm uh you know they produce some of their best work i liked palms as an album but i'm gonna be honest i'm digging this so much more than anything first listen on palms um except maybe beyond the pines on, on palms is kind of like you know all-time og thrice track but this to me is better than most of the tracks on palms and just being honest <laughs> Oh, Eddie's bass is filthy on this one. Every tether is tangled and twisted. They slowly sever oh. your heart from the hole. Oh, that bass is so good. I'm just going to pause again, sorry, I really hate it when people pause, but um, I'm just as excited as you are for this track. Um, I really want to like listen to it properly and you know comment on the little parts of notice. Um, Riley has become a phenomenal drummer. Uh, you know, we've talked about the band's evolution in their sound. Um, part of that sound is Riley's drumming has just gone, it's just gone like this. It's gone from generic to like next level um, pocket drumming. He's become a bit of a pocket drummer. You know, uh, last last few albums, you know, just Groove City. To be everywhere is to be nowhere. I mean, there's so much groove in that from Riley. That was him kind of um, expanding his horizons and his drumming and, you know, not just being fast and heavy and, you know, actually adding some personality and emotion and feel into it. This track is just dripping with groove. Oh. Oh, 
Pass, that's so good. I love how proggy this is too. Probably like seven, eight times signature maybe. Beautiful. What's that symbol in the background? This sounds like something off Visu, this part. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I really do love this. It just makes you want to cry. As pathetic as that sounds, it just sounds so good. building somewhere. Yeah, I can feel it. Still, we're going up. How left field would it be if they do a breakdown or something in that? Notes that Riley's added in there. You can just hear them. It's what gives it that groove, I think. Oh, hello. It's got a bit of a Tesseract vibe to it now. It's, it's, got, it's just gotten a little bit more proggy. God, I love this. I love this. I love how it walks up and down. Oh, the lo is that logo getting closer? Yeah, it is. That bar's logo is so sick too. Turned on its side like that. Uh, wow. Um... Can I just say, it has been, oh, it's probably, since I heard Black Honey, I mean, I liked Black Honey. I know a lot of people hated Black Honey from To Be Everywhere As To Be Nowhere because um, it sounded generic and, you know, more mainstreamy sounding. But you know, I remember hearing that, you know, when they announced they'd come back from hiatus and I loved it. Um, and really, like, Palms, I, like, I liked Palms. Don't get me wrong. I don't want this to be, uh, you know, ripping on Palms video because I bought it and I listened to it. Um, but to me, Palms was them kind of experimenting more with a, a more mainstreamy type sound in a way, which is a weird thing to say for Thrice. Um, but we, we've said it. Um, but, you know, like I said, Beyond the Pines and whatnot, there were tracks that jumped out to me. I liked The Dark. Uh, Only Us was cool. But to me, this is Thrice. Um, this track right here, this is when a lot of uh, people, especially if you've listened to this band for a few years, like I have, um, this is the sound that you associate with Thrice, you know, that um, it's just raw, raw and groovy. Um, and that's, I remember hearing All the World is Mad for the first time when they played it live. Um, that was before they had even released Beggars. Um, All the World is Mad, it just had that, uh, it had that kind of groove and distortion to it. And it kind of, you know, it, it had that pop to it. And that's, that's how I feel about, um, you know, this track here. It's like heavy... It's groovy, um, but it's also not in 4-4 either. So you, you can't just kind of like bob your head up and down sort of thing. You know, it's it's very much proggy and, you know, I guess mathy. And, you know, I guess we haven't really heard Thrice really delve too deep into that kind of, um, you know, complex time signature um, and feel changes. You know, it's probably since the Alchemy Index and whatnot. Um, beggars, obviously. Uh but yeah, it, this is the side of the band I think a lot of people have missed. Um, and I say that as a fan, you know, I'm not saying that they fell off or started making bad music, but this to me would not sound out of place on Beggars, in my opinion. You could have put this on Beggars or even Major Minor and uh, it probably would have sounded like it belongs. 
the only key, the only key difference here is just the mix is phenomenal. Um, Tepe's clearly up to his producer chops, and whoever did the mix on this did such an exceptional job. Um, you know, you could hear you could hear Ed's bass just popping through. There was just some, it was just dripping with groove from the bass, but then you had Riley um, just playing the most phenomenal, like not overplaying. That's the thing. Um, you know, the backbeat of the song, but just giving it so much groove and uh, personality. And Dustin's voice, wow. I mean, Dustin's voice is like a fine wine. It just keeps on, just keeps on getting better with age. I don't know how the guy does it. Like, for the, as long as his band's been doing it. Um, yeah, his voice has become more raspy, but it just sounds so good. You know, um, I don't feel like Dustin's voice is one of those things where one day it's going to be like, I can't do it. It'll just evolve like we have heard it over the last few albums. And the thrice sound will evolve with it, but this, this to me, like thrice, uh, kind of, it's just a throwback to their earlier sound. I mean, even the lyrics are a lot more, um, you know, more in depth than anything on Palms with exception of Beyond the Pines. Again, obviously I keep repeating myself, but Beyond the Pines was an exceptional song that highlighted, you know, Dustin's, uh, lyrical prowess. Rest of the tracks, not so much, but this track right here, um, it just showcases all the good parts of thrice. Everyone in thrice are good at. So, I am absolutely stoked. Um, I already drained my bank account pre-ordering the uh, Alliance <laughs> uh, limited edition vinyl as well as the cotton candy vinyl. Um, and the shipping to Australia was like $50 for each. So, you know, <laughs> the the shipping is almost as much as the vinyls, but, you know, it's worth it. I love this band. I'll support them forever for as long as they keep doing it. So um, if you made it all the way to this end of this video, I really appreciate you watching. And until next time.